Alright, so today we'll be looking at the Tuna Yacht Party. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go to the restaurant. Alright, so we're looking at the menu here. Now, the Tuna Party is quite simple in the sense of you have the option of this dish, this dish, or this dish, as well as some basic sushis. So these are the three actual tuna dishes. And down here you should see you've got basic sushis of the tunas and uh, different tuna sections. Tuna, weirdly enough, has three sections of fish that all sell differently. But I imagine it's very much the same in real life where apparently tunas are very sought after sushi fish. Like, a lot of people, like, tuna sushi goes for a lot of money, if you got, like, the good sections. Like, apparently you want to be headshot in the tuna with your spear gun, because it, if you shoot it through the body, what will happen is you'll have damaged some of the good meat, basically, and it will lower the value of the fish overall when you're selling it to someone who can make sushi. So if you get a clean headshot, that's apparently the way to get the best money out of your tuna because you've only damaged a head section which isn't really consumed. But anyway, as you can see here, these two dishes that are higher value than a basic sushi are not that great either, so we're going to be focusing on this one today. The main thing about this one is it requires egg. Also, the other thing about it is he's only used the worst sections of the tuna, so it's very interesting in that sense. Like, there's no. I mean, this is like uses the mid section of the tuna, like the middle grade section, but there's nothing, no dish that uses the high grade section of the tuna. So, very, very strange. So, for this, we're going to swing by the farm. As always, my farm looking as good as ever. And the main thing here is we want eggs. I'm just gonna buy a free anyway. You'll also want rice, but I currently have tons of rice, so that's why my field looks like that. Alright, so we'll get the dive going. I think this is the only party where crops from the Sea People Village, like the glacial area crops, aren't required to get the best of the best. Ah, here's the bluefin tuna. Nice. All three in one. That's going to give me all three sections a bunch of times. We'll take this out here to be fully prepared. Hey look, there's some barrel jellyfish. I couldn't find them in the jellyfish party, but yeah, here they are. Here's two sea urchins stacked on top of each other. Let's see, can I find any yellowfin tuna? There they are. Let's quickly take those fish out of the equation. Boom. All three and one. That's all the tuna that's available to me right now. Of course that guy's immune to steel net. Yeah, as you can see, tuna is really easy to get hold of. I'll do a dive again, because why not? Oh wow, I just saw five of them swim off. This is my main target then. Okay, I've got four in one net here. I do want this last guy though, so...
take that too. There's some yellowfin tuna. I have one drone left, so I need to get the shot good. That guy was too far out in front. That was too high. I think I've got two and one here. But something interesting you can do. Which I wonder if you can still do it this way. So obviously I have no drones left, but I can do this. At this point you won't get the most the high grade of their meat. But you don't need that for any of the dishes anyway, so. Though you get less of the meat, you can still just harpoon them if you really need to. If you have the net, you can even throw them in place. Is there anything up here? Could be a Mako. Yep, there's a Mako. I, I, I knew it. Get out of there, Dave. See, now the thing is, it's gaining on me. And that's the horrifying thing about these guys. They will chase you down. There are more tuners up here, but... Um, a, the yellowfin tuner, so I don't really actually care that much. And also, they're guarded by a macro, so... Um, and also, I have no drones, of course. That's a third factor in there. I think I am far enough over that. The Mako will not attack, but... As you can see, it's just... Yeah, you know, I'll harvest them anyway. It's a bit harder to hit the moving ones. So I'm actually going to try finding more ammo real quick. And also maybe some oxygen. And the main important thing is to avoid the Mako. That's all the tuna I could retrieve retrieved. As you can see, that's I got a lot of it. So we're good there. Let's get to the party. Now this is actually the weakest party. Because your best dish is all the way down here. Whereas with other parties you have better dishes above this. Thankfully I'm in no shortage of any of the ingredients here, so I just get to put this on. Yeah, let's see how the ship goes. Looks like to be the end of the night. Let's see how we do.
and a branch sucks as always. That's about it for this video. Hope you have a good day. A bonus clip here actually. I'll show you how to re-roll. Party events. Right, so obviously I've already done a guide for all the parties except for Storm Shark here. So when I want to get Storm Shark, what I'll do is since I've got Cucumber, save and return to title. And reload the manual save that I made right before the tuna event party evening. So as you can see, I've reloaded it, still the, the tuna party. And after I complete this party, the very morning of the next day is when it determines what the next party is going to be. So basically, I'll have to keep going through this until I get Storm Shark. But yeah, very simple way of doing it. So if you want to change up the party that you actually have, you just got to, but you actually got to do the shift. Because if I skip the shift, for example, it just give me tuna party again. So if you want to do this, you save right here for the, for the time when you serve the party dishes, serve them. Then next day, skip through it or play the day normally. And a day after, when you get revealed to party, if it's not the one you want, you can basically reload from this point and get another go at it. Another dice roll as it were. Yeah, now that's about it for the bonus flip. Thank you for watching and have a good day.